stressful morning as you can see I'm still in my pajamas and I was going to dress up and tidy everything up before I turn on the camera but my goal with this vlog is to be as transparent as possible about autoimmunity and the military family life and you know what this is it this is a transparent moment I'm still in my pajamas I have not done my makeup or my hair the kitchen has not been touched no Swiffer, no nothing, and it is exactly 12 o'clock in the afternoon. We've been up since 5.30 this morning trying to deal with glitchy PDFs on his computer and trying to get things together for something he needed for work. I was updating my roster for the families I sent information out to as a volunteer, and I won't go into too much detail, but he was so stressed this morning, I felt bad turning on the camera. If you've seen him in different clips that I get from him in other videos, you know, he's very camera shy even when he's just happy. And this morning it was, he was just another person and I didn't dare turn on the camera. That was our entire morning. Suffice it to say that at this time of the day, I have not even touched my vlog from yesterday. It, I, I haven't even uploaded it to my computer so I can edit it. I also haven't touched all the promotions that I was working on yesterday for my home business so I could start uploading in different days. I have my 3 o'clock and 4 o'clock tutoring sessions today and I have not prepared the 3 o'clock one yet, which is a priority and I suppose I'm going to be uploading my vlog a little later today. So yes, it has been a very stressful morning. For the purpose of this vlog, you're going to see a lot of mess today and you know what? I'm not going to hide it. I'm actually going to show it to you because I believe, I truly believe there are other families out there who have messy areas of the house and they feel so ashamed if anybody walks into the house and catches that little mess or big mess or whatever, if it's not tidy and magazine worthy, people get ashamed and embarrassed and you know what? This is life. Sometimes you need to dedicate more time to priorities and family and emergencies than you can to doing the dishes or sweeping the floor. So today you're going to see messes. Don't judge me. It happens. Life is life and we do the best that we can at it. And that's the way I'm gonna keep the tone for the rest of the day. The stress is real this morning, but things are getting done. I just finished uploading a promo video to my Facebook group, not showing sure which one it is, but uh, I finished the promo, which is good because I had to edit the video. I did edit yesterday's vlog. Unfortunately, I don't have enough footage to make a good video, so I'm trying to see how I'm going to close it out before I export, upload, and you know, the whole drill, how that goes. And I also planned my session today from 3 to 4 with the kid who's learning to read and I downloaded some materials that right now I'm just gonna cut, laminate, and use for today. Again, any messes that you see, no judgment. This is a judgment-free channel. I downloaded some sight words as well as some worksheets. I'm also gonna work on some games because obviously learning is not just about worksheets, especially when you're doing a one-to-one -one session or one-on-one -on -one session, then it's all about interacting. So we have a video that we're working on with some letters that he has to match to the video. I'm also gonna do those um, flashcards as well as the worksheets. And I'm looking for these cards. These are some cards that I got from Target. So as you can see, you got sight words and three letter words. We're still working on two letter words, but I'm gonna start introducing three letter words just to get the ball rolling. This is something I am proud to show though. This is my language shelf. So I have English, French, and down here I have linguistics. So I have my linguistics books, some French as a foreign language information, 
And here I have some more advanced reading material from when I work with grown-ups, which I haven't done in a couple of years, but just in case something comes up, it's right there. This is where I have my other home business, but not showing you what it is. Oh, I knocked on the door and my dog thought somebody was here. <laughs> Poor thing. Oops, I forgot my laminator. So I'm gonna grab my laminator and my guillotine and then I'll get to that. Don't wanna keep walking you around the house. Oh, I am shamefully out of laminating sheets, which means that I can't make more flashcards until I get some more pockets of those. So I'm altering my plans and I'm just going with these worksheets since we are working on two letter sounds and then introducing three letter sounds. I'm taking this sheet so that he can associate at and then the first consonant and depending on how he's doing how he's feeling how entertained he is then we'll do it backwards and he'll have the first sound and he'll have to sound out the other consonant vowel combinations i also have the three letter words activity we also have this big book of activities that he loves he just keeps turning the pages and i have to stop him so I have three marked out because you also don't want to do too much of the same thing. I have the video with the letters and I'm going to work on a game that we can do because I also like to have him move around the house since we are going to be there for an hour. It's good to get him mobilized and not just have to sit there the entire time. So I'm going to work on that game right now, which I don't know what it's going to be. Hey, I just figured out the activity we're gonna do. We're actually gonna use an app that I have for learning to read, and we're gonna do a cut and paste activity. So I didn't know that sitting down, I wanted him moving around, but as long as you keep the activities diverse, he's actually very good about doing everything. He's one of these kids who's really proud about all the work that they do. Just in case, I also always have my backup activity. So I do have a dry erase board in my bag with some markers. In case he doesn't like one of the activities, then we can just do something else. Then the other kid is just helping him with his homework. If he finishes in time, we just read Green Eggs and Ham. He loves that book. We just read a few pages at a time because we only have like maybe two, three minutes at the end of his session. So my bag is ready to go. This is what I use if you haven't seen it before. Before. I love happy colors when I'm working with kids so I'm a little bummed about wearing black and gray but I actually went through all my happy colors earlier in the month and by month I mean January I do try to wear all my clothes before I do laundry so I just have my dark colors left that's why I've also if you notice I've been wearing my cherry earrings I try to wear something happy so that they see me and they smile now I just have a few minutes to have some lunch and I'm on foot today and it is raining. It has not stopped raining since last night, which means I'm going to have to carry my super huge umbrella, which uh, just wait till you see it. Just wait. I just finished my salmon burger, burger sandwich. I told my mom that my husband made me a salmon burger once. So I finished my salmon sandwich and I filtered some water. While I talk to my mom, that's what I was saying, I was talking to my mom. I talk to my mom, always make time for your family. You never know when it's gonna be the last time you talk to them. So I was talking to my mom, and now I'm gonna work on another promo for my home business. It's just, it's Valentine's Day soon, so uh, promos are everywhere. So I'm just gonna do that real quick before I head off to my kid's house. And then I will be back for another hour and a half. So I will see you guys way later tonight. Hopefully my husband will be in a better mood too. The suckiest part about this is the wind is blowing so hard and I weigh all of a hundred pounds. So I'm struggling to keep this thing straight and not fly away. <laughs> oh, I need a smaller umbrella, gosh. We're both home. My husband actually got to pick me up from the last house I was at. And we already had Hello baby. I gotta fill my dog's bowl. We already had our daily catch-up talk where we say what happened in the day, what needs to happen tomorrow, what are the goals for the next couple days. And after the stressful morning that we both had, we've decided to make some changes starting today. And right now we're just gonna take a break unwind from everything that's been happening during the day and then we'll go back into our routine slash tasks slash things that need to get ready for tomorrow 
and hopefully get everything done before we go to bed and not really just completely unwind before bed. Just really do as much as we can because sometimes you just get so tired of being an adult that you get home and you're comfortable and you just want to get everything. I talk with my hands. But we really can't afford to do that. This morning was very stressful in part because of that. So right now I'm just going to refill this and we're going to go to the couch for a little calm down, wind down time. My dogs are getting anxious, I gotta fill this up. And then we're gonna really take care of things that need to happen. Are you listening to all this? Are you listening to all this? They want their water. Getting agua. See? Aguita. Okay. I gotta give my dog some water. I had to walk them out because they were getting too intense. So you wanna see? Here's their water. I think they were a little thirsty. All right, so some quiet time and I will see you guys later for maybe dinner. Not sure yet. done dinner's done and it was all team effort that's actually his to wash his to wash his to wash so done so much better For bed. My husband is just teasing our dogs. They are absolutely obsessed with tennis balls for some reason. We actually didn't have a lot to prepare tonight even though we were ready to be responsible adults because he is off tomorrow. I, however, do have to go to my kids' tutoring sessions at 3 and 4 again. And then, of course, I have my vlog, so I need to uh, separate some time for that. He is technically off tomorrow, but he's actually going to be using the day to catch up on some errands and some offices he has to go to get some paper signed, so I might be going with him. We might have a little adventure tomorrow around days. Anyway, I'm going to say my good nights now, everybody. Sorry for no video yesterday, but honestly, there was just nothing to watch. So thank you so much for watching. Please remember to like, subscribe, and share. And I will see you guys tomorrow.